Hello everybody, this is Latana Roberson. I wanted to go ahead and show you guys some things that could happen when you are getting ready to go to print after you've color separated your artwork. I've had a few students that have called me on this, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a couple of things. Now, I already have this design color separated. And uh, this is using the Pantone colors. And the other one is using a CMYK color, which is using the uh, Cheyenne. But what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and print this and show you some things that can happen when you go to print uh, while your registration marks are not showing up. So I'm going to print on my Epson 1400. And make sure that my paper size matches the paper size here in my document. So I am set to print on 11 by 17. So that's okay. Oh, sorry about that. Also make sure that if you're printing a uh, portrait or landscape that that's that the correct uh, thing is checked and you can check up here that's portrait and this is portrait here. So I'm going to go into my colors. I'm going to click separations. I've got Cheyenne and the Pantone color, and I'm going to click that. I always overprint my black. I don't use any uh, type of specialty ink to print, so I always print my black, and I get a pretty good black. Go out to your layout. Always leave that as it is in my document, and then pre-press. Select your registration marks. This is my favorite, so that's the one that I use. I always recommend to give your art a design, and we're just going to call this Beauty Beast. Your artwork a name, I'm sorry, not a design. <laughs> I don't click any of this. Now, I do have Mark to Objects selected. So I'm going to do a quick little print preview. Now, this is what I want to show you. You'll notice I only have one registration mark here. I should have four registration marks. So open up. If you slide this down, you can open this up. So this is my first color. This is my second color, which is the Pantone color. If your registration marks are not showing, the first thing that I would tell you to do is to go back, close the print preview, View your artwork in wireframe and see if there is anything else on the paper. You see how I put this other here and I, um, I intentionally made that white so that my registration marks would not show. I'm going to delete that, view this back normal, go in and let's do a print preview once again. Go back through all of my steps make sure my paper set size is uh, set and all that's good go back to colors I still have separations on and I'm gonna click that one always over print my layouts fine my pre-press is fine I don't have any issues I always mark my registration marks to objects which makes it closer to your print job. So let's take a look at that. Now you can see the registration mark showing up. This is the first page. Let's move it down. Open up the second one. Okay. Now, if this is a little bit too close for you, you can go over here where it says right here. That's your registration. And if you click that, See, and you move this cursor, you should be able to select this, and it, there we go. Now, you see how that moved? It moved it out. I'm going to try to get this one, and I'm just going to move this down. So what I did is I'm moving the registration marks. 
around on my paper. And you've got to get it just right to where you see these double arrows. Not only does it move here, it also moves on the other page. So it's still precise and it's still perfect on however many pages that you have. Sorry about that folks, I had an incoming call. So it'll still move regardless of It'll still move on your paper. Sometimes you may open up a design and you don't see those registration marks. If you don't see your registration marks, go over to the side and click here and you can go in and find those registration marks. A lot of times I'll have just this one registration mark show up on my page, but I know that the other ones are there. So you just got to go in and find them. If I click here, that's going to remove the registration mark altogether. So I can go in and add registration marks after I've already got a design done. Let's say if I forgot to add it, I can go back in and add those registration marks from this area. Click here. And we can add all of this stuff. But I don't want that to show up on my paper, so I'm going to take that out. And that's how you go in in Corel Draw and make sure that your registration marks are set. You're going to need those registration marks, folks. And you can go in. You, can, you don't have to use the registration marks that I use. You can go in and use the other registration marks in there. Thanks for watching.